Well, this is the classic Apple playbook. Apple charges premium prices because the experience, the experience feels premium. And Peloton brought in Peter Stein, a former Apple executive as CEO. You can see the fingerprints, right? Reposition Peloton is a high-end multi-modality fitness ecosystem, not just the bike company. But here's the problem that Peloton faces. Apple has fanboys. Tesla has believers. Nike has athletes. But who does Peloton have? During COVID-19, it had trend chasers. And trend chasers don't stick around. That's why this AI pivot matters so much. They are trying to build a new identity. Instead of selling a screen with workouts, they're selling a smart trainer that gets better the more you use it. And that's the move a lot of companies are making right now. Look at Hoop, the wearable company. They're not just tracking your sleep anymore. They're pushing AI-driven insights to tell you exactly how to recover, how to train, and when to rest. Look at Tonal, the smart strength training machine. It uses AI to auto-adjust resistance and build you custom programs. Even Nike is experimenting with AI coaching in their apps. So Peloton isn't crazy. They're actually following a trend that could define the next five years of fitness, personalization at scale. But, and this is where I really want you to pay attention, AI alone won't save a brand. You can bolt AI into a treadmill, but if customers don't trust the brand, if they don't feel the value matches the price, it doesn't matter. We have seen this story before. Think about GoPro. For years, they sold cameras at premium. Then smartphones caught up. GoPro added more features, tried to pivot into software, and even launched a subscription. But most consumers had already moved on. The company never recaptured its peak hype. Or Tech, tech Fitbit, for example. They basically invented the fitness tracker category. But once Apple Watch integrated step tracking, heart rate monitoring, and coaching, Fitbit couldn't compete. They got acquired by Google, and now they're basically invisible in the market that they built. Peloton risks the same fate if they can't convince people that this AI trainer is essential, not optional. Here's the hidden challenge. Pricing psychology. A $6,000 treadmill with AI coaching sounds cool. But compare it to paying $150 a month for a human personal trainer at your local gym. For the same money, you get real accountability, not just rep counting. Peloton has to make the case that their AI trainer is not only cheap long term, but actually better. That's a very hard sell.